Washington is a weak and feckless leader, blinded by his own arrogance. And that's just a telling my shit there is take cold and indecisive. I don't like the idea of camp followers mixing with the soldiers. You prefer orderly lines. Does the cold so numb your fingers, Joseph, that you cannot finish dressing for company? And we squeeze the bastards till they beg for mercy. Language! Gentlemen, do not curse, at least in this army. This is clear as day. General Lee, a traitor. The spirits of the men are lifted after our victory at Saratoga. Now is not the time to disparage a fellow general. Washington, the bastard of Brandywine, should be flogged for his failure. People of America have been guilty of adultery by making a man their god. He comes with conquest crowned. Hail, Columbia's warlike son. Hail, the glorious Washington. This man has been working to undermine you for since months. the day I was appointed. And Gates and Conway and others. Would you have me court martial them? Hang them, stone them to death. If we fight ourselves, we will appear to be divided. You quarrel over disrespect to me, but in doing so, you disrespect yourselves and this army. We are divided, sir. We are greatly divided. And the French cannot blow it. England is all but bankrupt. Long live the United States of America. May vive la France. Versailles is watching, waiting to see if we are worthy of her. Exposing treachery in our highest ranks proves that we are not. Why are you men in retreat? I did not think a major action was in the best interest of America. You did not think? But sir, you merely had to wait for the proper time to deal with him. I said to the rear. That's a public shame. That he be court-martialed as a failure and as a traitor. The accused. Having been convicted of breaking into the house of Mr. Prince Howland. Having been found guilty on the charge of attempting to pass counterfeit bills of my age with the King Washington and any other law. They can both be hanged and no one will ever know how close they came. General Arnold once told me you can be a soldier or you can be a spy, but you can't be both. Nonsense. They go hand in glove. There can be no security without secrecy. We've just proven that the attack will be coming from, from the south. Which is why I will make plans to shore up our defenses on the Delaware. Where the hell are the rebels? The fort is ours! King Louis has commenced negotiations with Messieurs Franklin and Adams of the American delegation. Negotiation? A treaty of alliance between France and the United States is imminent. You are to be appointed to Major General. What about pay? We must all continue to make sacrifice. What do you know of sacrifice? Something you would understand if you had any sons of your own. It is not my task to teach you better sins. I, uh, I pray I do you proud. I'm not your father, and you are not my son. Thank you, Benjamin. Mary Floyd of Brookhaven. Daughter of General William Floyd. Sorry, right, yeah. And who are you fighting now? I'm fighting for what I deserve. You know, the French wouldn't even be here if it weren't for my victory at Saratoga. The decision is mine. My glory will not detract from your own, and it will only enhance it. This has nothing to do with glory. Says the glorified. Arnold's a traitor, sir. What? Arnold! He's a traitor. It's right here in the left. The plan was to lead the invasion force around to the rear of Fort Putnam and overwhelm the garrison. General Arnold would send for reinforcements and then surrender before they could arrive. Men are reluctant to trust their officers. Officers doubt their commanders. I'd invite you to join me with as many men as you can bring over with you. Whom can we trust now? If Tommy Jefferson won't surrender, he'll be governor of nothing but Shar and Ash! As for the turncoat. A bounty. Shoot on sight. They say they never intended defection. 
the leaders must be punished. They're our own men. It's a brutal touch. Take aim! Closer! Fire! Do not look away! I'm hearing things, I'm seeing things. You're doing all you can. It's not enough. This war, was it a mistake? Was it greed? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Lawrence, introduce me to a world of culture and opportunity. He told me how to dance. He took me in at Mount Vernon and fashioned me to a gentleman. Virginia is collapsing. The battle for New York is imminent. Green needs us now. This is foolish. His opinion is wrong. You see that, don't you? Governor Jefferson, even your own generals, they are all telling you the same thing. Sir, you, you must abandon this... this obsession with taking New York. Certainly, I was right. I was certain. The vessels are for moving south. But General Cornwallis is vulnerable in Yorktown. Rebel, rabble, routed at Monmouth. Washington left, really. 154 pounds, 15 shillings, and 10 pence. Correct. In the country wherein he was born, he always heard the liberty of the press represented as the great security of freedom. This is your own. I can't accept this. The men are not here to escort you to prison, but to protect you. You are owed much more than this. We shall need vigorous voices to a part in check. Lest our young country stray down the same road as the one we just defeated. <laughs> our country owes its life to heroes whose names it will never know. Unrespected, feared, hated, and worshipped. Washington wished to return to his farm, yet was called back to serve his country as the only man who could unite our turbulent states.